Hi everybody, it's Thomas, and I'm here with the next video where we will be opening an Aether Revolt. Oh man, that's huge. Uh, Aether Revolt bundle. Um, so obviously, I guess with the way my camera's angled, I'm not gonna be able to get it all on the screen. But that's a bit better than this is when they still came with the. Uh, well, they still do. Uh, this is the old design of the bundle. A lot bigger than I forgot how big these are. Uh, that's trash. Is that and it comes with the take back the power. I assume this is like a oh, yeah, this is a set list. Is that the masterpieces listed? Hmm. Are the masterpieces not listed? Hmm. Cool. I wish I still did like these product things. Uh, the, all these, this book, it, it looks like it's filled with a lot of lore. Anyways, anyways, I know. So we are hoping to get out of one of these 10 packs today, a masterpiece. For those who aren't aware what masterpiece is, from Kaladish block up until our devastation, they had what were called masterpieces. For Kaladesh and Aether Revolt, they were masterpiece artifacts um, that were part of the quote-unquote Inventor's Fair. And they're reprints of older cards, such as Soul Ring and Mana Crypt, that were redesigned to be uh, as imagined by the inventors from uh, the Plane of Kaladesh. And in Amonkhet, they did these really neat Egyptian-styled uh, art pieces with uh, hieroglyphic text. And it's really neat. Now, unfortunately, with the, uh, out of Aether Revolt, you can't get stuff like Soul Ring and Mana Crypt and the Swords. Those are from the th first set. But you can get some really interesting cards out of this one. Uh, there's, um, oh, there's like a lot of mean stuff. I think there's Piffing Needle, um, Planar Gate... Uh, a couple other stuff, but I, I've personally not opened any Aether Revolt stuff, so let's actually see. Oh, wow, these are, man, they're just splitting right at the top. Wow. Stiff, huh? Yikes. Okay. Yeah, these packs, packs are going to tear apart easily. So let's see what we get. Uh, there's no promo. Oh, okay. So we got Aether Swooper, Alley Evasion, Chandra's Revolution, Silk Weaver Elite, Natural Obsolescence, Fen Holler, Strict of Tampering, which has had so many reprints in the last couple of sets, Filigree Cop uh, Crawler, Augmenting Automaton, Implement of Combustion. Gremlin Infestation, Perilous Predicament, Ridge Scale Tusker, Green Belt Rampager. Uh, let's see, it's a, a green for a 3 4, enters with 2, enters battlefield, pay 2 energy. If you can't uh, return it, Green Belt Rampager to his other hand, you get. So you cast this, and you start generating energy, and then hopefully by turn three, you can actually cast as a three, four is the idea, I guess. Neat concept. Well, that's are cool, and then you've got uh, the tokens, servo token. So we'll do lands. I know, I know I'm not seeming as interested in this, personally, just because I don't know what to really expect from the set, and really I'm just keeping an eye out for masterpieces. Um, and I know masterpieces were hard to come by. Um, they're essentially a lottery card. You, there was only maybe one in every three cases of the product open, but who knows? And besides, trying to buy find boxes of unopened Kaladesh is, that isn't in a foreign language and still relatively cheap is ridiculously hard. Get Custody, Gear Per Osprey, Defiant Salvager, High Spire Infusion, Cruel Finality, Implement of Combustion, Verdant Automaton, uh, Augmenting Automaton, Ravenous Intruder. See, it's it's trying to go for the Masterpiece Soul Ring. 
Shielded Aether Thief, Servo Schematic, Glint Sleeve Siphoner, and a Foil Aether Super. Then an Island, and then a Token. Okay, two packs in, eight more to go. Man, these are just peeling open. Oh, and see, and these are this is also the shock art that's been used for quite a while now, even up until Ravnica, I believe. It was still this art specific art of shock. Okay, so we got shock, taking the custody, osprey, aether herder, night market aeronaut, automaton, countless gears renegade, watchful automaton. Augmented, man, there's a lot of automatons. Life Crafter's Gift. Outland Boar. <laughs> Dave would be happy that I got the pig of the set. Consulate Dreadnought. Merchant's Dockhand. It's our rare. We've got a F Hollow Spire Patrol. It's a four drop. When it ETBs, it taps, uh, taps something down for... A while. Okay. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. And then energy, energy reserve. What is, how does this work? So this is tap X untapped artifacts you control. Look at the top X cards. Put one of them in your hand. And so, okay. That's actually pretty good uh, search in like an artifact. I'd probably use that in an artifact based EDH deck just to help uh, uh, cycle through the top of my deck looking for key pieces I need. Yeah, it doesn't actually seem like a bad card. Probably would be, I'd probably run in like maybe an Urza EDH deck. <laughs> Wrangle. Yeah. Gremlins are the equivalent of goblins in this, um, in this plane. Conviction, Aether Herder, Renegades Getaway, Destructive Tampering, Prize Fighter Construct, Aether Poisoner, Foundry Assembler, Implement of Improvement, and a Winding Constrictor. That's actually not a bad pull. Um, this is a uh, really great uncommon. It lets you, it's in effect a counter doubler. Um, so it's really, so people use it in like, um, in I think scales decks. Um, where you're really caring about like a lot of 1-1 one -one counters. That's a good card, not complaining. Uh, Reverse Engineer, Felidar Guardian. Ooh, and, our, and a Mythic, Mechanized Production, 2 and 2 blue, Enchant Artifact you control. Meaning for your upkeep, you create a token that's a copy of Enchanted Artifact. And if you control 8 or more artifacts with the same name as one another, you win the game. Huh. That's interesting. Neat. And then so we'll put mythics over here. Ah, I wonder if th there's probably people who build uh, win cons around that. That sounds like a fun win con. Uh, you'd probably have to do. Probably you'd have to get something like uh, Thopter tokens because they count as artifacts. Yeah, you just have to have a like a token generator. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, I I've, people probably have won games with that. But it has to be at the beginning of your upkeep, so you have to find a way to actually get to your next turn. Anyways, uh, Shipwreck Moray, Con the Brights, uh, Precise Strike, Aether Herder, Renegade's Getaway, Implement of Improvement, Wielder, Welder Automaton, Aether Stream Leopard, Iron Tread Crusher, Consulate Turret, Iron Ironclad Revolutionary, Illusionist Stratagem, Thopter Arrest, and Oath of Ajani. When it enters the battlefield, you put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control. Planeswalker spells you cast cost one less to cast. Okay, it's a neat enchantment. Now oh, that's a neat servo token. Cool. We've got five more packs to go. We're about halfway through. We hit one mythic. 
and some decent foils. Then we hit a winding restrictor. So I'm not. It's been interesting. I'm hoping I get something a little bit nicer though. Uh, but we'll see. We shall see. Bastion Enforcer, Conviction, Aether Chaser, Fen Hauler, Natural Obsolescence, Ice Over, Watchful Automaton, Automaton, Implement, oh. Gremlin Infestation again, Skyship Plunder, Spire Patrol, Yehani, Undying Partisan. Nice. Uh, he's actually really good. Two and a black, legendary creature, Aetherborn, Vampire, Haste, 2-2. Two, two. Whatever creature an opponent controls dies, you put a wall encounter on Yehani. Sacrifice another creature, Yehani gains indestructible to end a turn. Yeah, so he's fun. And then we have a Barricade Breaker Foil. Improvise. All right. Add token. Okay. Trying to keep this video short, you know. I know you guys don't like watching through the longer videos. Um, so if I do do box breaks in the future, I'll probably break them up into a couple different parts. Or maybe I'll just have to put uh, chapters in, just showing, uh, just skipping straight to the cards. Elite, Obsolescence, Nightmare Market Guard, Poisoner. Implement of Improvement. I've gotten a lot of those. Leopard, Prize Fighting, Construct, Deft Dismissal, Lifecraft Awakening, Spire Patrol again. Oh, hey, Baral, Chief of Compliance. Uh, he's the other really good legendary out of this set. Uh, one in blue, instant sorcery spells you cast cost one less. Whenever a spell or ability you control counters the spell, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. Nice. Can we at least hit a second mythic? We shall see. And man, are these packs just falling apart. I guess, I guess it is a couple of years old at this point, but still, you figured that they wouldn't be so stiff considering they've been sealed for so long. Okay, Evasion, Revolution, Metallic Rebuke, Silk Weaver Elite, Natural Obsolescence, Foundry Assembler, Negate, Mobile Garrison, Consulate Turret, Night Market Guard, Weldfast Engineer, okay, Vengeful Rebel, Lifecrafter Awakening, Khazri Zeb's Expertise. Uh, gain control target creature, vehicle until on the turn, untap it, it gains haste until on the turn, cast a card with CMC 2 or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. Neat. Okay. Two left. Two left. Are we going to hit that masterpiece? <sighs> Would be nice. Taking a custody. My Osprey. Wrangle. Salvager. High Spire Infusion, Foundry Assembler, Implement of Improvement, Sweatworks Brawler, Consulate Turret, Bastion Inventor, Ravenous Intruder, Trophy Mage. Oh, this is actually a good card. People use this a lot. Uh, with Trophy Mage ETBs, you can search your library for an artifact with CMC3 or less. Reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your library. It's a really good artifact tutor. Vengeful Rebel and Battle at the Bridge. Uh, X black improvise. Target creature gets minus X minus X until on the turn you gain X life. Okay, neat. And down to the final pack. Are we gonna get something decent? At this point, I'd just I'd rather just get a myth a uh, second mythic, which would be nice. But here's hoping. Let's see what we can get. Take into custody. Osprey, wrangle, getaway, cavalry. Sail back, implement of improvement, well, their automaton, leopard, crusher, ironclad revolutionary, daredevil dragster, servo schematic, and inspiring sanctuary. Let's take a look at this. Uh, artifact, non-artifact spells you cast have improvise. 
Uh, your artifacts can help cast those spells. Each artifact you tapped after you're done, you're done activating mana abilities pays for one. Gear Prism's most celebrated inventors have been immortalized in clockwork. So, uh, this is interesting. I'm not super familiar with this set, but I mean, some of these pieces I have seen played. Uh, mostly those guys. Um, and I think, yeah, it's mostly those guys. Uh, the, let's see, I know I've got the Trophy Mage. I've seen Spire Patrol being used before a little bit. Um, so they're Guardian, I think I've seen used. Winding Constrictor is a nice one. Uh, yeah, and then the Magnetized Production is an interesting alternate win con for something like EDH, but getting it to stick and stay on the board in time. Um, you do something where you can try to end people's turns, which is interesting. Or if you can manage to play this, then cast an extra turn spell. Uh, you win, but yeah, interesting box. Um, I might try more of these. I mean, it's definitely interesting going for history. I know I don't sound as interested in this product. Eh, personally, it's just because I have no experience with these sets, so I'm not really sure what's good, what's bad. I really do need to take a look through it, but I do recognize some of these cards personally. Um, and I think it was an interesting set. I think it would have been, f I, I hear it was a fun, um, block to play through standard wise and for draft. Um, but yeah, who knows? I'll probably pick up maybe one or two more of these Afro Revolt bundles just to try them in the future. Uh, they're relatively cheap and, you know, they still have that really low chance of having those masterpieces. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy, and let me know what kind of sets you want me to open in the future. If in reason, you know, I can't go opening, you know revised edition packs or whatever who knows maybe someday if i can actually make money off of this but we'll see anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you around